Anup, could you please introduce yourself? My name is Anup. I have completed graduation in 2021. Okay. And coming to my experience, I have a one year experience in IT, and uh, I have to become a DevOps engineer. That's why I'm here to learn in the. Okay. Anup, have you completed any AWS project? Yes, yes. I have completed in you know, three type projects. Three type project. Yes. So, what are the services involved? You know. VPC and mm-hmm. EC2 mm-hmm. database RDS. Oh, auto scaling and load balancer. Also, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Fine. So, what is different between uh, auto scaling and load balancer? Auto scaling, we have, we have to you know, scale up, scale down, and create an auto scaling. Mm-hmm. We have to you know, automatically we have instance also launched. Yeah? Mm-hmm. In load balancer, we have distributed the incoming traffic in you know, our uh, instances. Okay. So how do you configure the auto scaling? Uh, auto scaling? We have to launch, we have to create in a launch configuration. Launch template? Yes, yes. Okay. Fine. And then uh, we have to attach to the available zone, you know, our auto scaling. Okay. Like, uh, we have to create an application load balancer. We have to attach to the uh, application load balancer. Yes, so, what is AMI? Yes. Uh, is it mandated to create AMI? Yes, yes. The... It is, we have to create an AMI. It is for uh, uh, our instances, you know, create you know, on launch configuration in our terms. What is WAF actually? WAF is the. Uh, it is the security firewall, sir. Web stands for you know web application firewall. It is the block the unauthorized traffic in our uh, malicious and unauthorized traffic to the sir, sir. in uh, application. Yes, sir. Okay. Have you heard know about the EBS and EFS? Yes, sir. So what is the major difference between EBS and EFS? EBS is stands for elastic block storage. It is black level storage. When we have to stop the instances, automatically storage also deleted, sir. And when EFS is uh, we have to store it in files on in EFS. Okay. Um, which one is expensive, EFS or EBS? A- EFS, sir. EFS. Yes, sir. What is different between one zone and uh, regional? In EFS, we have two options, right? Yes, sir. One zone option and regional option. Yes, sir. So, what is different between one zone and regional? They have to you know available in one zone, uh, like not for uh, another zone. And uh, region means uh, it is a geographically uh, location in the cloud, but uh, we have to uh, one zone area. It, uh, it is uh, available, you know, our instances are like uh, one zone, you know, only available in this area, particular area only. Fine. What are the two storage classes we have in S3? There are uh, five types in storage classes. Five or six? Six. Yeah, six okay, three. what are those? Standard IA, on infrequently IA, on glacier, okay. and uh, one zone, and okay. uh, redund- uh, RDD, redundancy distance. Okay. Mm-hmm. What is multi area deployment? RDS multi area deployment? We have to. Multi available to join if they have to available in RDS. Okay. So, what is port number of RDS? Double three zero six. Fine. You're good. Okay.